YouTube. What's the righteous word? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman. I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Remember that. And we back with another video. So Adam22, I'ma just be honest. He pulling all the tricks out of his bag. Believe it. You know what I'm saying? This guy got DW up here. Um surprised to see DW uh back up here. I'll be honest, but you know, when I listen to um this episode, it was uh, th this is all a play. I'm gonna be real with y'all out there. I don't know what's real and what's not. If this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, please, and thank you. We need that for the algorithm. If you go to the top of the page, smash that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me any content y'all want me to react to there. Also, join the Discord. Join up to the Discord. We got a bunch of people in there doing it up. Something for everybody. Positive vibes. You feel me? Positive vibes. We're not trying to set nobody up. Nothing like that. Bunch of talented people in there. Also, smash that uh, TikTok link. Follow me on there as well. Um... Back to Adam, though, I just find, like, he's really pulling all stops out right now. You feel me? Dude got DW back up here. Uh, The whole interview really is just, like, he's. I feel like he's just pulling for content. Um, Again, I don't know what's real or what's fake up here. We see all this stuff going on with Dijon. Something going on with Dijon, that's for sure. Um, But... A lot of stuff is a play with this guy. I'm going to just tell y'all. That's what that's what I noticed. A lot of stuff is a play. At some point in this interview, they talked about how they got together and, and, and pretty much planned DW being on live and saying all the stuff about No Jumper. Y'all saw my last video on that. Um, a bunch of circus tricks going on. I'm going to be honest, and I did not think that DW Flame was participating in those. You know what I'm saying? But to each his own. You know what I mean? But... Um, DW had a message for Brick. Uh, I'm, I'm going to play a couple clips for y'all. The second clip is the message to Brick. I thought this was powerful. I'm going to be real with y'all. I thought this was super powerful. All the BS aside and everything, it was a message that bro definitely should take heed to. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. And um, in this first clip, it's basically just describing how WAC 100 did bring, their, bring DW there as a plant. I mean, that's what that's what I took from it. In essence, that's what he's saying. Like, you know what I mean? Bro sold all kind of seeds of deception in DW's head before he even got up here with Brick, having him think things in the back of his mind subconsciously because the stuff that was said by WAC 100. This is crazy games that they playing out here for content and on the internet. It's just wild, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to get into these clips. What I could tell you about Wack though, the nigga Wack, he has a talent. Oh yeah, bro, the nigga oh, got yeah. a he got a talent. <laughs> he told me everything that was gonna happen. How so? What did he tell you, bro? He told me you gonna get up there, right? You gonna, this is what he said. You gonna get up there? Cause mind you, when I was trying to get up here, I hit. Now remember when I said seeds of deception? That's what this is. You're planting seeds in DW's head when he's going in there fresh with no nothing about nobody. He's just going in there to work and get a bag. You're saying little things that inevitably will play a part in their relationship. Wack is a cold manipulator. I believe that's why him and Adam 16 work so well together. You feel me? Rockhead and Kiwi Head. They like the dynamic duo. You, Bob, and mm -hmm. you was like, oh, yeah, well, is you cool with Wack? Uh -huh. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm super with Wack. Matter of fact, I'm better than good with Wack. Mm -hmm. So I was just talking to Wack, too, you feel me? And then I was like, uh, nigga, tell Adam, get me up there, too. Uh -huh. You feel me, right, like, right now. Cool. He like, look, bro, this was going to happen. You know, you you special, nephew. You know how you talk to you special. He like, you going to get up there, and nigga, Brick going to be uncomfortable. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, niggas ain't got to be uncomfortable. Uh -huh. I'm coming just to do DW. Uh -huh. You feel me? He like that, but this how it's gonna happen. And then, and then he gonna try to do some. And you going He said after that that shit happened, he like now he gonna have to try to do something. That you something gonna slip up right now, Bob. Right when he said it, it happened, Bob. He like then when they put the pressure on me to have to do something, he like. Don't even say nothing. The the nigga going mind you. I'm just talking to Wack regular. This ain't no this ain't no plot. This is me just listening to Wack. Like uh -huh. like yeah, you know I'm talking. Cold thing about it, DW. You just didn't see it, but it was a plot, brother. It was a plot. 
He's kicking all that shit in your ear about Brick before you even get up there talking about Brick gonna feel like this and Brick gonna feel like that. It was a plot. Unbeknownst to you, my brother. And you played the most integral role in the plot. That's what's crazy to me, y'all. You got to open your eyes to, to to these people's tactics, man. You know what I'm saying? Just because a nigga got a bag, just because a nigga got notoriety, don't mean, you know what I'm saying, it's all good, y'all. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? DW got played for real. I'm just be honest with y'all. That's how I take this. He just talking, and then he was like, you got to go in there and say something. Go do the woo-woo. I'm like, hey, I'm kind of chill. I'm kind of not so much... I don't bullshit. He and whack like, all right, nigga, you gonna look bad, nigga. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> but he said brick was gonna crash. Mm. He said the nigga gonna crash, nephew. Enter kill squad. Uh, he, that, yeah, yeah. So, so, <laughs> so that's what I mean. That's what he said. Like, and then look before I even when brick walked in, cause I didn't even get to get a word off to him. No, nobody did. Like, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> you know, trying to say something to him. I'm like, you know, just want to have that probably whatever the fuck it would have been when he would have sat down and we would have, you know, uh, whatever. So, cause everything was, I can't give you every detail, but Wack was giving me detail, bro, before. This ain't, this ain't something he could have knew. Well, I could have knew with him. Mm -hmm. It's something he. Right. Right. He played you, though, bro. It's new. He said, he said, if I would have asked Brick one question, he would have started crashing out. He said, just, he said, matter of fact, nephew, you know what? Just ask the nigga one question when he come in. Like, nigga, what the fuck is this about? Like, what would he said, and let the nigga do the rest. What, what is what about? When, uh, about that video coming out. Okay. The See, recording. Because right. I haven't seen him since then, and that was going to be my first time seeing bro. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was finna holler at cause like, you know, really, cause I didn't know what it was about. Like, bro, what the, like, what's really that, that, that shit about? Because if that's really how you feel about me, you know, then that's like, we, that's something we needed to confront. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And then he asked him and Gordy was going to jump me. I was like, what the fuck? Wait, Brick said he was going to jump you with Gordy? That's what this, on the phone call. Oh. Yeah. Really? I missed that part. Come on. So now it looked like. Uh, Kiwi head. Kiwi head, you don't miss nothing. You don't miss nothing. I think you missed that part. Golly. This guy crazy, man. Y'all just, man, this is a circus. Seen somebody in my comments say the minstrel show. No cap. No cap. Mind you, Adam is asking these leading questions because he wants this content about Brick. Dog, you just did a podcast with him. This is just feeding what he does. It's crazy. And then I'm telling all the homies in the set who like, hey, what's up with the nigga Brick? I'm like, nah, cut, cool. Like, we became cool after, you know, cut, cool. Like, I'm like, we smooth. So the homies kind of was like, okay, cool. Like, not just the homies from the set, like, but everybody who my, you know, peoples. Like, all right, cut, boom. But then when Brick did that, it just made me look like I'm on some weird shit. Like, you trying to be cool with niggas and this nigga the whole time, like, he was going to jump you, too? Like, and then I was my first time hearing that. I'm like, come on, cuz. Like, you know, be real. I'm not getting jumped by nobody in the world. Yeah. I never spotted that sort of energy. Never thought that that was even yeah. a possibility that anybody was thinking about anything like that. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, I, and I'm thinking like, damn, cuz y'all was going to jump. Because I was thinking we was bros. I'm like, cuz you wasn't, he wasn't going to fire on me at all. Because anyway... But okay, if we if we homies like you saying to the world, right? Then you ain't even gotta go back on that and say and try to make it seem like you was gonna do some gangster shit at all. When we already established niggas, you, niggas wasn't gonna do nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't gotta act hard. Well, because I'm not acting hard with you. Mm -hmm. You ain't even. I wasn't even acting hard when I did it. I'm like, yeah, because I tried to whisper for a cigarette. And I shouldn't be smoking one. Okay. <laughs> and that's just how it came out And I apologize right there Bob. So there's no reason Because you need to act hard To niggas behind my back uh -huh. Like you was about to do something You get what I'm saying And to niggas who put you on blast after that mm. So at the end of the day Nigga I was your only friend Well out of that <laughs> equation Out of that equation is what. 
I ain't gonna lie, I agree with DW when he says that. I believe that DW was the only nigga who was really rocking with Brick, bro. Because it seemed like even folks from his hood, would, 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 like I said, they was putting him on blast on live, talking about he got to come through, pay taxes, this, that, and the other. He later had them same people on the podcast. And, you know, that's his business. But we talk about just genuine friendship. It seemed like DW was genuine. You know what I'm saying? Aside from him being played by Wack, and he couldn't see that. Shame on him. But it seemed like DW was genuine, bro. And it seemed like Brick was just kind of shady. I'm going to be real. It's that street politics shit I be telling y'all about. Feel me? Got to act one way here or another way here. That's all, man. I'm saying, like, at the end of the day, I was your, because I hollered at you about it. Okay, we became on a cool note. But... I'm like, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm thugging with, I'm, we thugging. So, cause we walk anywhere, we outside is, you know, we outside. Uh -huh. So once I get on a page like that with a nigga, that mean we stuck from there. Because that night, the Kill Squad night was one of the craziest podcast clips ever to watch because it was kind of weird. You could kind of like watch Adam instigating. Pay attention. Watch Adam instigating. Tell Brick wanted to keep it cool with you. But he's mad as fuck. He's tweaking. He said that he didn't have any lean or whatever. So he's like not really feeling like himself. But like you were kind of like the logical person for him to be mad at because he was mad about the idea of like basically his drama or his street shit getting discussed too much. And like you were kind of like the X factor in that. Like you had been on the pod like three nights in a row where that same topic kept getting brought up, which I understand him getting annoyed by the fact that it kept getting brought up. But if you're mad about that, it did kind of feel like you were the person to get mad at, but he didn't even look at you. He kind of like left it out. And so, me so basically he's saying, bro didn't even go up on you. Essentially, he's saying, bro, is scared of you. He comes in the building and he's rah, rah, rah to everybody, but he should really be talking to you, DW. That's what Adam's saying right here. And do we need that? Do we need any of that? Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Y'all continue to let this man make y'all content. I don't even know what to say at this point. Kiwi head running a cold game up here. Golly. Meanwhile, you're sitting there and you like you you like rolling your eyes. It's like everybody's watching the clip, kind of like reading the body language of like, oh damn, DW is not feeling this, but he don't really like want to like crack it open like that because Brick's just full and, and then the clip is over before it even starts it's like a couple he minutes was already, long Cole was already in his full crash he was already in his full thug he already in there that nigga that, he telling people to come over there once once I seen what level he was on it yeah I, I just I just breathed on it let him let him do his thing that's the first clip we gonna get into the second clip but I just wanna say man it's just crazy like the creativity, because I don't know, I thought that this was going to be the majority of the podcast was going to be about the Dijon thing, but come to find out, that's a whole play. Y'all was just playing on that, you know what I'm saying? But then you get some grade A Brick Baby content that you know you're going to clip up, DW says this about the thing. You know you're going to do all that, you know what I'm saying? And you literally just did a show with Brick, probably going to do one tonight, it's crazy, man, and it's just like Brick don't even understand how he be looking out here, man. And and like that's sad to me, for real. You know what I mean? He don't even understand how he look out here. We about to get into this next clip. And um, this was to me, this was powerful because it was just like, yo, it was like DW again being being what I call solid. Just, you know what I'm saying? Trying to tell, bro, you know what I mean? He gotta slow down. We're gonna get into this. Fucking wax saying was like like really that's exactly what wax said that is one of brick's flaws as a podcaster slash honestly like kind of an attribute because it's caused him to go viral a bunch of times but like he will get on camera and basically wow out a little too much mm -hmm. given who he is and what he's got going on the kill squad moment and the skulls over squabbles moment both stand out to me as like oh he lets himself get a little too into the deep end a little too quickly yeah. and say things that maybe you shouldn't say. And the thing is, every the thing is that you know that, Adam, but you still set up these situations. Talk about the schools over. Bro, you set up that whole play where he crashed out. You called loose on live, bro. Atrocious work, period. 
And here go brick right here. Look. Oh, <laughs> shit. And the thing is, that's. Look at that. What's going on? Here's hey, I'll come up there for my bird. <laughs> And here you, here you have it. Hey, hey. What's up? Hey, hey, Brick. Hey, hey, Brick. Yeah. Tell, hey, tell, the, tell these niggas that. Tell these niggas keep my name. got you. Tell these niggas keep my name out their mouth, nigga. Hey, please do, because it took me two weeks of not being able to tell y'all that this shit been a game the whole time. We got y'all. Me and DW still rocking in his music and all type of content coming. This my brother. And congratulations on that new baby, nigga. Like I've been texting you. You already know, nigga. Appreciate it, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> what the? watching No Jumper the Soap Opera, nigga. Let's go. Man, this nigga, <laughs> something wrong with this nigga, though, man. <laughs> Oh, with who? Adam? No, you, no, you nigga. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I lost it. Something wrong with this nigga. <laughs> you about to squabble Adam, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to squabble Adam right before, <laughs> right when he walked in with his guard dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought right. Yo, do y'all peep that body language? I'm going to run that back. Yo, DW whole body language is not jacking this. I've been saying that for a while since all that other stuff jumped off. You could tell he's not really jacking it. Let's be honest. DW, you yourself have to be honest, brother. You're not jacking this. Let's be real. This nigga calling in like everything is a play. Yo, y'all watch this guy, DW. Watch his body language. He's very telling with his body language all the time, every time. You could tell. And I'm pretty sure that the nigga just told that DW got a new baby. I'm going to be honest. I don't think that that was known to the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But leave it to Brick. Leave it to Brick, you feel me? He's going to give you the tea. That's crazy. Hey, <laughs> hey, Brick. Hey, hey, Brick. Yeah. Tell, hey, tell, the, tell these niggas that. Tell these niggas keep my name. got you. Tell these niggas keep my name out their mouth, nigga. Hey, please do, because it took me two weeks of not being able to tell y'all that this shit been a game the whole time. We got y'all. Me and DW still rocking in his music and all type of content coming. This my brother. And congratulations on that new baby, nigga. Like I've been texting you. You already know, nigga. Appreciate it, Kev. <laughs> what the? watching No Jumper the Soap Opera, nigga. Let's go. Man, it's No Jumper the Soap Opera. <laughs> nigga, something wrong with this nigga, though, man. <laughs> Look at that face right there. That's not an I'm joking face. He trying to play it cool up here on the camera, trying to make it like, ah, oh, but DW don't rock with Brick, y'all. Period. He don't. Oh, with who? Adam? No. No, you nigga. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I lost it. Something wrong with this nigga. Yeah, you about to squabble Adam, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to squabble Adam right before, <laughs> right when he walked in with his guard dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought Ralphie for you today, yeah. I'll hit, I, I hit you in a minute, though. <laughs> Pay attention what? to this message, though. Pay attention, you know. But it, is it, it him right there? Is he kind of like doing the thing that you were talking about before, where like some real shit will happen, and then he'll kind of act like it's a play afterwards? Nah, nah, nah. He not. He it's the real shit was when he just fucked up and said the snitch shit. Mm. That's when it became real. And when I shout out to Sharp though, mm. cause Sharp was like, nah, don't do that. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, Sharp, like, just from the short time, Sharp can tell you, he good with people, too. Mm -hmm. Sharp can tell you that I'm not a nigga to play with like that, you know? And Brick know that, too, but Brick uh, Brick got a lot of shit going on, cuz. <laughs> and, like, just how the moment the hum just had, cuz, that he just had up here. Mm -hmm. I'm like, cuz, like, really, I had a... Skullgate. Let me tell you, let me tell you how, let, let me tell you how real this shit is for me real fast, and I hope cuz take heat to this, bro. Pay attention, bro. This is a real message. Pay attention. Okay. I have, I, I like I said, Wack got a talent. I got a talent. I've seen things like this before. Mm-hmm. You know, it just wasn't the internet, but I seen when the homie keep having moments like that. You get what I'm saying? And you, you really, he really like in some some ways making people hate, cause or you you kind of feeding the bad energy. I got bros that died like this. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And then something in my mind, cause is like you know I seen this, bro. Like I see this shit. Like yeah, I see niggas go through shit like this, or I see niggas have too many viral moments. Mm -hmm. But they dangerous though, 
Right. You get what I'm saying? Like we 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 right here, Adam. Uh huh. That that moment you just talking about, niggas is laughing. Brick can really go out there though, like and you know and, and like niggas can, and like not wishing that on cuss. That's what I'm saying. I'm just telling you something that I've seen before. Uh huh. Cuz Cuz gotta slow down. He just has to. Right. He literally has to. And if you give a fuck about Cuz, you not gonna keep letting Cuz have moments like that because niggas die. No. Boom. Boom. Ain't really much else need to be said, y'all. Again, we not on here for violence. We not trying to incite no beefs, gang wars, none of that shit. That's not what we about. And what bro said right there was absolutely real. If Adam care anything about Brick, he going to stop doing this kind of stuff. Everybody be like, you a grown man. You, It's true. It's true. But don't we all know people who like, they could use a little assistance. Don't we all know people they could use a little guidance? You know what I'm saying? If they're not seeing clear on what they need to do or how they need to move for, for forward progress, you get what I'm saying? For longevity, for life. You feel me? Shout out to ODM Slim. ODM Slim did a reaction to... um. Brick Baby's crash out on Loose Cannon. And he was saying the same thing, like, yo, champ, like, we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? We don't we do not do that. We don't say them kind of things on, on camera. You feel me? Where the shit could be clipped up and, and, and traveled everywhere, dog. You know what I'm saying? It just don't look good on you. And everybody keeps saying, Brick got things going on. Brick got things going on. It leads you to believe Brick got things going on. So you really don't need this extra stuff, bro. It's dangerous. You're playing dangerous games, bro. Shame on Adam. And I like how DW said that. If you care any, anything about him, bro, you will stop providing the hub for them moments. You know what I'm saying? Put bro in an environment where like he's just doing interviews. He's talking to midgets. The midget interview was cool. I clowned it, but the midget interview was cool. If it's crash out brick or midget interview brick, I'm going midget interview brick. Straight like that. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Please and thank you. We need that for the algorithm. If you can go to the top of the page, smash that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me any content y'all want me to react to in the DMs. Also, join that Discord. We got good people in there. It's going up. Something for everybody. And y'all comment down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I think that was a powerful message at the end by DW. Um... With that said, I don't think DW is really rocking with Brick. And I mean, rightfully so. They've had so much going on during the course of their what seems like a short relationship that it's like he probably just burnt out on Brick. I'm not even going to lie. But again, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this. It's your boy Gangland Need. Peace.